Hello my friends, welcome to the bee yard. Uh, I'm out here, I'm going to be treating for varroa mite. So I'll be sh showing you an organic option to treat for varroa mite, something I've, I used last year, I found very effective. Had big strong colonies come out of spring, so I was very happy with it and I'll be using it again. A uh, product you may already know from the title of the description is Thymovar. It's uh, made from an essential oil taken from the herb thyme, which is common to a lot of kitchens or your diet, so you should be familiar with it. The exact uh, chemistry uh, explanation of why it works with the mites, I won't explain in this video, but it does uh, work in such a way that the mites can't resist it or breed for resistance so it's effective year after year you only use it once a year right and there's two sets of treatment I'll be applying strips today removing them I believe it's four to six weeks or three to four weeks letting the colonies rest for a week or two and then uh, reapplying the same amount of strips for the same amount of time again so it's two treatments in the fall spanning uh, several brood cycles so as to get at all the mites because it does not go under the cap like a formic acid but it is very effective against the mites and great for preparing for winter because in the cooler temperatures you may not want to be splitting your boxes apart to remove formic acid pads or applying them <clears throat> whereas this is only lifting the lid quickly in and out you can do it on a cold day or a gloomy day like today where it has already rained and it's going to rain some more so come along i'll show you the product i'm going to be using and how to apply it how very easy it is and like i said i've used this before all the bees in my yard right now are bees that have been treated last year with this and survived to propagate and uh, more than double my bee yard so it works it's effective and uh, yeah i'll show you how to use it super easy All right, before I get started, let's uh, show you this flow chart here, decision making of how to treat for mites. This was sent out by the Alberta Tech Transfer Program, it says on the forms. Some information on uh, mite control, kind of an idea flow chart, let you know when or what your options are for uh, treating for mites and the various products you can use product I'll be using of course is uh, Thymovar so this is the packaging you get it in the directions are all attached to the packaging all your various languages it's a Canadian product it's organic it's safe for the bees it's effective against the mites so we'll go down and show you how to use this all you really need of course the suit up or whatever your preferred method of dealing with the bees is. Gloves or whatnot, I would recommend uh, not using your bee gloves, not to get the essential oils on them because you'll be using them again with the bees or your honey or something, right? So I got acid resistant gloves, these are good for formic acid also. I'll be using those, that's all I'll need, I'll need this, something to open these packages, apply the strips, I'll show you how to do that. Yeah, I just thought this was uh, interesting. The government sent out a little test kit so you can test for mites, you can decide what to use, and uh, some information. You know, let me give you some things you can fill in, track your mite testing and whatnot. I don't know exactly, but I thought it was helpful and good. Again, you get that when you register your bees. So please, wherever you are, Register your bees doesn't cost anything at least not here in Alberta and there are benefits to it and they benefit all your fellow beekeepers So let's go apply the time of our Well if I have this in frame good, it's hard to see with the glare on the little LCD thing Yeah, it's rained already. It's gonna rain some more so I'm gonna try to be quick I'm not going to show you each and every hive.
for the same procedures for each one. Okay, so all your packaging has an expiry date. Comes with wafers. Okay, I'm going to use, there's five in each package, I'm going to use two on each hive. I might have come down here without a hive. To, oh no, of course. Okay, the bees may not be happy to see me. The weather is not nice. I have not been in this hive for a couple of weeks now. It definitely needs light treatment. I'm a couple weeks behind. I was behind on getting the honey off and now I'm behind on getting treatments on. Which is never good, but they look healthy. Lots of bees. I'm never very good at keeping things out of the the view of the camera or whatever. Not the best videography. Alright, so this is uh, <clears throat> one of my Kona queens. They overwintered last winter pretty nice. Though they didn't produce a lot of honey, they did produce two other hives. So take that as you will. Okay, so there's your time of our strip. What you want to do is place it over the brood somewhere. So you don't want it on the side with the honey. Right, you want it near the middle. You're going to place one strip near the front. place the other strip. Now, ideally maybe over a bit. Staggered them but I got a bunch of so, and that's it. Okay so that's your treatment. This is gonna sit on here. I don't know where the directions went but uh, I think it's three or four weeks or something. And of course, like I said, the directions are hidden away behind the front label. They're on each uh, each package. Okay, so yeah, three to four weeks. So it's the beginning of September, so the end of September, beginning of October. I'm going to switch them out. I think there's a break of a week or two in between. I'll probably leave it for just a week as winter comes fast here in Alberta. But that's all there is to it. Now this is uh, my preferred method because now I didn't have to break open the hive, see all the, the propolis. I don't know if you can see that in the camera or not. But that was just the inner cover. In between these boxes they'll be sealed also. And there's also bridge comb between the frames in the lower box and the frames in the top box and the queen will use that to transfer up and down. So that, that's good to have for the winter. So if I was treating with formic acid I would have to break the boxes apart, lift a heavy box twice, wants to apply it, wants to remove it. And that's two applications also like this. So this is much easier. And if the weather's cold and I'm not making a video and talking, blah blah blahs, then I can just open real quick, put it in, take it out, whatever it may be. And if the weather is bad and it ends up staying in there a little longer, it causes no harm. Right? If it snows in and goes to minus 40 and my treatment's on there, I'll leave it in there all winter and I'm sure it'll be fine. That's it. Let's do another hive, just to show you just how easy it is. Alright, 
I'll do another one here, show you just how easy this is. And I used this stuff last year. My colonies are very strong coming out of winter. Very happy with this product. More than happy to show everyone what it is and how to use it. Okay, I showed you one of my uh, Kona colonies. Colonies with a Kona Queen. That's a Hawaiian company. It's not a breed. But they do have good reputation, make good queens. This is uh, my split from this summer from my Alberta bred queen. Okay. So this wasn't a purchased queen or a purchased nuke or anything. These are my bees that made their own queen from the genetics of an overwintered Alberta queen that I had purchased. Yeah, they're looking real good. Very happy with my bees this year. More than doubled how many bees I had. And got myself quite a bit of honey. Mostly all from one hive, but still significant amount. Okay, so you want to place the wafers? Again, above the brood if you can. I know it's funny to say, that's on the directions too and everything. Uh, you're in the top box here. So yeah, so this is two deep brood boxes. It gets two strips. If you have only a single deep, cut one strip in half and then stagger them in the box like I did here. And I got a bunch of bees congregating over here. So I'll put it above whatever they're doing. That's all there is to it, simple as that. Like I said, the weather's not nice today, so I want to be fairly quick. But I thought I'd uh, show you a few at least. Oh, trying to figure out what I was resting it on was my finger. It's hard to feel with these stupid gloves on. Easy as that, good to go, three to four weeks. You let it rest for a week and then apply again. But uh, it's super easy, organic. I can't say enough about this product, you know, like how long did that take, right? Uh, and the weather's not nice. So you can do it when the weather's not that great. I think it's a 12 degrees Celsius to 30 degrees Celsius. That's the window you have where it's effective to use in it. It's most effective between, I think it was 19 degrees and 25 degrees or something like that. I could be wrong. I, I know it's like 12 degrees to 30 degrees is your window. But the same with Formic, right? It gets over 30 degrees Celsius. And I'm sorry, my American friends, I don't convert to uh, Fahrenheit very easily uh, without Google. So whatever that is in Fahrenheit, I apologize. But yeah, that's all there is to it. Thymovar, super easy, easiest mite treatment there is. It's organic, safe for the bees, very effective on the mites. As you will see in the spring if you stick around. But yeah, if you found this helpful or interesting at all, uh, consider subscribing. Give me a thumbs up. Join me on the channel as a friend. Always happy to make new friends. Looking forward to getting to know you all. So, hope you have a great day, wherever you are, whenever you watch this. Peace.